Hi, I'm Raven Denton, aka Raven's Breath, and I am very excited to participate in this creative showcase uh, with Dripping Creativity in support of the Dripper Project. I am an author, cosplayer, and gamer slash Twitch streamer, but really I just go wherever the ADHD dictates that day. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any like writing to showcase because I'm in the middle of my first horror novel and my first cyberpunk novel, two separate projects, um, but have been in the gaming and cosplaying space for many years now. I actually got bit by the cosplay bug back in like 2014, I went to my first Comic-Con and I was like, that looks pretty fun. So for my second one in 2015, I threw together a Kaylee Fry cosplay from Firefly. I had like three people recognize me and say shiny to me on the convention floor and I was sold, I was done. I was like, this is really cool. Um, so I made a handful of other cosplays um, in the next couple of years. And then in 2018, I was like, let's go full blown and hand make an entire cosplay from scratch. So I did. I chose Yennefer of Vengerberg from The Witcher 3 video game because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I made everything from hand by hand from her pants to her scarf. I handcrafted the necklace pendant, um, made her like deceptively intricate jacket. Um, and I learned a really important lesson. Don't mess with stretch fabrics unless you absolutely have to. Uh, holding took me about seven months because I was learning pretty much everything on the fly. Uh, and then I actually entered it into a local cosplay contest and the judges created a special like judges choice award for me and a couple other cosplayers um, so they could share it with the, the team, with everybody, so which is, I thought was pretty cool. I've also dabbled a little bit in body painting. Um, some of them I have streamed on my Twitch streams. They tend to take between like two to five hours depending on how intricate they're supposed to be. Uh, and then in early 2020, I created my third ever handmade, fully handmade cosplay. Uh, and I did Yennefer again, because she's amazing. Uh, but this time I did a dress from the Netflix show. So a couple of fun facts about this cosplay. It was the first dress I had ever made of any variety. Um, it took me about four months to make. And I started it right after the show was released, uh, which meant that there weren't a lot of like reference pictures available. So. I rewatched the orgy scene in season one about 50 times trying to like get the details of the dress right. And then in the process of making this dress, I used about a hundred feet of gl super glittery ribbon, um, sold out three different Joann's. Um, much of the glitter, which I am still finding around my apartment, even though I have moved apartments twice since then. Tragically, this cosplay has not yet seen a convention floor, but it's something I am hoping to rectify soon. My most recent fully handmade cosplay was actually the artist from Dead by Daylight. Uh, I made that last year in about three months. Uh, for this one, I actually got to experiment with a couple of new techniques. Uh, worked with like foam pieces, which I haven't done a whole lot of. I learned how to attach the, like foam to fabric. I do like to joke, I'm not serious about this, but like I'm kind of serious, um, that the piece I'm most proud of is learning how to simulate having bare feet uh, for a character who has bare feet um, without actually having my bare feet on like a convention floor because those are super gross. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I've done a ton of other cosplays in between and since. Uh, many of them have been assembling pieces that I bought from stores. Some of them have been like, you know, closet cosplays, things I've already had in my closet. Others I've like, I've purchased from stores and then modified to fit whatever cosplay I'm working on at the time. Um, so here are a handful of pictures of some of my favorite cosplays over the years. I have been gaming since I was very little, but 
in the summer of 2020, just like pretty much everybody else on the planet, I started streaming on Twitch. Um, since then, my content has really like grown and changed. Um, I actually started with like FPS shooter games. So I started with like Fortnite and Apex Legends, neither of which I really even play anymore. I did a short stint of like body painting streams. Um, and then I moved on to like story-based games, which is most of what I play now. I started off very shy, very like prim, proper, didn't make a whole lot of like, you know, weird jokes or whatever. <clears throat> And then I played a single Silent Hill game, which I have lovingly dubbed Silent Hill 4 Hole Simulator because the entire game you're going in and out of holes. So into the hole, into the subway, out of the hole, back into the hotel room. I don't know why. Um, and like the proven properness has been kind of downhill ever since, but I think like in the funniest way. Um, so I stream mostly horror games, some cyberpunk games. Um, throughout all my games, I'm wildly inappropriate uh, and I get jump scared at basically everything even things that like aren't really jump scares. Um, my community makes fun of me most of the time, especially because like, generally speaking, I'm not very good at video games, even though I've played for decades, but I'm particularly not good at puzzle games, uh, which a lot of horror games have like puzzles that you have to solve in order to move on to the next room. Um, but my community kind of makes fun of me, I think in like a loving way. Um, plus they get jump scared a lot of the time too, which makes it kind of worth it for me. So here are a handful of my favorite clips from last year's streams. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We're playing a scary game. Oh, Jesus. Dude, like, Jesus. Okay. 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 She's just making sure I do the chores. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Raven doesn't do safe. No, Raven does safe words. It's just if a statue starts talking to me, there are additional problems I have to worry about. Oddly enough, the hand part is actually 3D and sticks out. At that height and with that gesture, you're telling me, Raven, you nerd, are you a fan of maths debating? Horrible smell is coming from the hole. Be sure to clean your holes regularly, folks. It's very important for hole health. And now he's just gone. So I just needed to let him pass. That's what it was. I just needed to let him pass, I guess. Well, now, ah! oh, Jesus. Okay. Hit parade, oh no. Oh, this is where I get to get hit with the little strings of anal beads. That's exciting. Oh, ah! Pyramid head, I swear to God, if you're stalking me. <laughs> okay, sorry. Or got me. Means I'm definitely gonna get jump scared. Oh, hey, there she. Ah! <laughs> My resting heart rate is actually like in the 50s. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> We're just basically killing Ethan on accident every chance we get, so. <laughs> At least spit down the hole or something. I did not think about that statement before I said it. <laughs> <laughs> 